In preparation for the 2022 FIFA World Cup, Qatar is constructing eight breathtaking stadiums at a total cost of 10 billion US dollars. The Al Janoub Stadium is located 15 kilometers south of central Doha, the capital and largest city of Qatar. It has an oval shape featuring a unique roof design created by the famous, now deceased architect Zaha Hadid, who was inspired by the region's seashells and traditional Dao fishing boats. Inside the stadium are over 40,000 seats split among two tiers. A rib-like design on the interior roof imitates the structure of a Dao boat's hull, building on the design's theme. Encircling the stadium is a plaza in addition to extensive gardens. Construction started on the Al Janoub Stadium in 2016, and by May 2019, it was officially complete. The Al Thumama Stadium lies 5 kilometers south of central Doha. Its design is meant to resemble a gafia, a traditional woven cap worn by men and boys across the Middle East. Inside the stadium are 40,000 seats split among two tiers. Surrounding the stadium is a plaza with geometrically arranged gardens. Construction started in 2017, and as of November 2020, the stadium is closing in on completion. The Al Bayt Stadium is located 3 kilometers south of central Al Khor, a town 40 kilometers north of Doha. Its design is meant to resemble a tent from the Bedouin people, a population of desert dwelling nomads native to the region. Inside the stadium are 60,000 seats split among three tiers. Covering the pitch is a retractable roof that opens and closes in only 20 minutes. Lastly, surrounding the stadium is a massive circular plaza along with practice fields. The Albate Stadium, being the second largest venue, is planned to host one of the tournament's semi-finals. Construction started in 2015, and in October 2019, it was officially finished. The Lusail Stadium will lie 15 kilometers north of central Doha. It will be the tournament's largest venue, hosting the World Cup Final. It will have a sleek, modern design that resembles a bowl, with a fully retractable, stunningly sloped roof. Inside the stadium will be 86,000 seats split among two tiers that will provide an incredible atmosphere. Encircling the stadium will be a huge landscaped plaza with facility buildings. As of November 2020, the main concrete seating bowl is complete and the exterior is under construction. The stadium is planned to be finished in 2021. It is the centerpiece of a larger $45 billion planned city called Lusail. The Education City Stadium is located 10 kilometers northwest of central Doha. It has an oval-shaped design with a modern metallic exterior made of diamond-esque triangles. During the day, these triangles change color based on the sun's movement, and in the night, the panel's LEDs display magnificent light shows. Inside the stadium are 40,000 seats split among three tiers. Lastly, surrounding the arena is a plaza with a lowered walkway. Construction started in 2016, and in June 2020, the stadium was finished. It is part of Qatar's Education City, a development launched in 1997 that now serves as an intellectual hub for the region. The Ras Abu Abud Stadium will sit along the Persian Gulf, just three kilometers east of central Doha. It will have a rounded square shape and will be constructed from multicolored shipping containers supported by steel frames. Inside will be 40,000 seats split among two tiers. 
The stadium will be enveloped by a square-shaped plaza surrounded by gardens. Construction started on the venue in 2018. As of November 2020, the steel framing is almost finished, and many of the containers and seating have been installed. It is planned to be opened in 2021. The Al Rayyan Stadium sits 20 kilometers west of central Doha, on the edge of the desert. It has a rounded rectangular shape with an interesting roof design made of protruding steel beams. Around it is a spectacular undulating facade that incorporates symbols of Qatari culture. In addition, the facilities around it mirror the shape of the country's sand dunes. Inside the stadium are 40,000 seats split among three tiers. Around the stadium are green spaces and practice fields. Construction started on the Al Rayyan Stadium in 2016, and in October 2020, it was officially opened. The Khalifa International Stadium is located 8 kilometers west of central Doha. It was first opened in 1976 with a capacity of 20,000 people. In 2006, it was upgraded to 40,000 seats, and in 2014, construction started to further renovate it for the World Cup. Additional seats and hospital facilities were added, all the concession stands were refurbished, and a large roof membrane was built over 70% of the stadium. In 2017, the renovations were complete, making it the first stadium finished. Together, Qatar's eight stadiums will cost 10 billion US dollars, which is being funded by the government. After the World Cup, they will be disassembled or reduced in size and repurposed into community facilities. They are part of a larger $200 billion infrastructure development project that includes new urban developments, an airport, an expressway system, and a port, all in preparation for the World Cup. The sporting event is controversial. Many countries are frustrated that a desert nation smaller than the US state of Connecticut won the bid to the world's largest sporting event. In addition, with the tournament being held in November and December, it will interfere with club leagues from around the world. Furthermore, there have been concerns over the treatment of migrant workers involved in the stadium construction. Despite this, the stadiums are truly captivating pieces of engineering. They form a network spread throughout Doha, which in 2022 will fill the entire city with football fervor. Personally, I am thrilled to see them filled with football superstars and global fans in 2022. If you enjoyed this video, it would be amazing if you like and subscribe for more videos very similar to this one. Also, remember to check out the comments and join the conversation. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.